Sam Orosh and this is another episode of Yakuza 4 and in today's episode we gotta go to uh, I don't know a weapon store I forgot what the guy's name was oh, look it's my girlfriend it's that mysterious lady from earlier except it's not it's just a woman that looks like her man I should have asked her out well fuck that one up I guess fumbled the bag man this curious virgin, which I think they're trying to retcon with the fucking Yakuza 8. There was this one cutscene they shown about Kiryu and Ichiban talking about relationships, and apparently Ichiban proposed to Sayako, one of the party members you have in Yakuza 7, after the game, and she refused him and got really fucking mad at him. I'm not sure why. It's probably some very important story that's a that's a cool fucking story uh, thing to explore in a yakuza story a character who actually gets into relationships with others you know i mean kiryu did get into a relationship in kiwami 2 and i was really fucking hoping they could bring back sayama from kiwami 2 because kiryu talks about that he talks about how he actually did propose to a girl once so could a man with no name actually have Sayama come back and maybe she refuses Kiryu and I don't know fucking dies or something and that's what Kiryu in Yakuza 8 is referring to? I don't know. What can I do for you? Make me a fucking bomb. I want to blow up some shit. A bomb? You're not particular about the case or cables I use, right? Let's see what I can do. Now be on the house. I'm just happy I can help a fellow terrorist. Finish, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but what it lacks in beauty it makes up with power. Small bomb. No need to pay me, I just like to see people suffer. Make sure you kill someone important with that. Like a politician. Or uh... I don't know. Who else? I'm playing more Grand Theft Auto 4 and I was thinking about that mini game that I told you about which is like Tetris but you match colors instead of shapes kind of and I thought man that would make for a fucking perfect mobile game because that fucking mini game uses only two buttons you just move it around left right up and down I mean, four buttons I guess yeah but that's pretty much fucking it it's exactly like Tetris you just play it with the d-pad or actually you can't play it with the d-pad, which is unfortunate. You have to play with the analog stick in Grand Theft Auto 4. Don't, doesn't work with the d-pad for some reason. And it just gets me thinking... That main roster is sitting on such a good fucking mobile game. If And I'm thinking, like, somebody also could have easily just simply stole the fucking idea of that, of that game from Grand Theft Auto 4. Make the make it just copy the f exactly everything about the game, turn it into a mobile game, maybe like online leaderboards or something, and you'd have yourself a fucking profitable mobile game. Just put a bunch of ads in it, or maybe like not a bunch because whenever there's a bunch, it usually drives people away. But like if you put a little bit of ads in it, like let's say every time you finish a game or die, you get an ad or something. Man, it's such a fucking good idea. Tell me about more revelations. I did make the bomb, but you didn't talk about revelations. Why do I have to come to some old man for that shit? Yep, I got a bomb now. Air raid shelter, old access tunnel? I don't know what the fuck. That spot has already been dug. Well then why the fuck can I even pick those? Wait, what? Uh, no, I don't want to fucking redo it. That's why I have that. I can for some reason redo digging tunnels. Like, why would I fucking want to do that? I just want to finish your story and never come back here. Air raid shelter number one, two. We already did number one. I'll place the bomb, so you just watch my back for me. Judging from the look of things, this place will be running a rock monsoon. So, oh fuck, that sucks ass. I have to defend the old fucking fuck from a bunch of falling rocks. 
Well, I guess I got a defense come from people. I was about to say, there was a whole story about someone thinking that he's sitting on a pile of gold trying to get it. And that disappeared, but I guess it didn't. <laughs> the schmucks are back. Who are these kids anyway? Just some punks with way too much time on their hands. They'll never learn. Shut your mouth, we're gonna bury you in this oversized grave. It's a family grave. Is that a bomb? What are you planning on doing with that? This old man's digging here without any permission, I don't think so. He pretty much dug a fucking hole through a sewer. And on top of that, now he's gonna be blowing stuff up here. Doesn't sound too fucking... Safe. No way I'm letting you get your greedy paws on it. Just concentrate on rigging the bomb, I'll take care of the rest. You know, I'd rather fight... Uh, ...these guys and fucking defend him from rocks, because... ...I don't know, rocks are stupid. Scared the final... ...finally finishing this thing. Stop talking like a loon, one more to go. Let's finish this already. Three minutes, give me three minutes so I can ready this baby to blow. Gotcha. <laughs> For these minutes, I won't let anyone lay a finger on you. You know, when that fucking barrel, gangster in a barrel happened, I was thinking, like, can you imagine something like this happening in, like, Mafia 2? <laughs> like, Yakuza and Mafia are both, like, serious crime stories, I guess, but Yakuza can somehow get away with having silly bullshit like this. Oh my god, we gotta do both at once. And I gotta defend the old man. He's about to die. Holy shit, this is not fucking good, man. Man, I'm fucked up, man. Not the rock, he's about to fucking die. I think he died. Ah, oh, this fucking sucks. This is the worst. What is with this fucking music? Okay, oh, seems like attracting people to the to this wall. Kinda makes the boulders just crash on their heads. And they seem to be angered at me, not the old man, so... That uh, seems like a pretty good strategy. Stand next to him. Make sure the boulders do all the work. Damn it, he got hit. One more minute. This sucks. See, they're trying to kick the old man's ass, but they can't because the boulders get in the way. They kind of defeat each other. The old man just kind of standing there and fucking rigging a bomb. It's nobody's business. How much health he has left anyway, because I feel like he took quite a beating at the very beginning and he's still doing good. Could it be he just simply doesn't have a health bar now? Well, it could be that he just simply doesn't have much health for. But no, I'm the whole point of this stupid ass bullshit was to save him, so I guess he just has a lot of health. I'll ignore the boulder that went right through me. Alright, it's it. Took you fucking two minutes. 
fire in the hall. Don't you think I know that already? It's better step back unless you got a death wish. No animation, really, just sound effects. Screw you, what is this, fucking Lego games? Just a bunch of Lego pieces falling apart. Oh my fucking god, his fat father's secret was a katana. Did it work? Well, we managed to break through the rock. That looks like it could be what you've been looking for. Way to go, old man. It's a fucking ancient badass sword, and I'm about to probably receive it as a gift. What's that? Are these books? Looks more like a set of mem memo memoirs and a sword. Memoirs? Your old man write them? Yep, it's got his name on it, so there's no mistake in it. Army General Konosuke Yamamura. Hey, just hold on a second. General? I had no idea your old man was a high-ranking officer. I don't know about high-ranking, but he did have himself a pretty decent unit here. Heh, <laughs> get it? Huge fucking unit. <clears throat> yes, um... My apologies. So what's in the memoirs? Let's see. I have walked the way of the warrior. Sword in hand, warrior spirit has born. Japan through the ages. Bringing us to our current state. With hentai and two nuclear bombs, my quest for true warriorship was acknowledged by many. And now I find myself charged with the privilege of protecting our great nation. But I find the warrior has no place in today's world. Bullets, they pierce men instantly, without respect, without honor. Unlike maces or swords, those were very honorable. They didn't just whack someone over the fucking head with it and broke their fucking skull. No. At least it was more personal, because you had to get up close. My ideals, they have no place in this ruthless era. That's why I'll be committing... Um... I'll be committing... I don't fucking know. What's it called? But regardless, the fate of... T you know, when you kill yourself with a sword. What was it called? Seppuku? Yeah, I think it's called Seppuku. Regardless of the fate of thousand rests in my hands, the choice of sword over gun is a luxury I no longer possess. I must thrust aside my code and wage a war devoid of mercy. A war I cannot turn my back on. Such is my duty. Torn between personal ideals and reality, that must have been a real hurt considering the times. Not the best kind of thought to be Kevin, I reckon, being a general and all. Nobody could have said these kind of things back then, at least without consequences, as he pours his heart out in these here memoirs. Right, so these memoirs are that something important then? The things written in them must have been what he was referring to as important. Man, what a fucking piece of garbage. Read the last point. Read it, bitch. We fought on and on, but alas, we're defeated in the end. The end? That is not what we must dwell on, however. Fighting any of kind bears sorrow of any kind. Not fighting, that is itself is the greatest duty asked of us, the tough, toughest battle of all. The moment we went to war, we had already lost. We lost to ourselves. This is a true story. History people must learn. Let's see. This is something important your old man was talking about. And I guess the sword is the embodiment of his warrior spirit. Keep it. You can hit someone with it ten times and then it breaks. I see. He buried memories and scribed with his thoughts along with his warrior spirit. Oh, wait a sec. The person that becomes heir to my warrior spirit shall also receive this particular ore resting in the shelter. Precious ore? Wait, you don't mean... Go. Guess that explains the hard object that stopped us from digging any deeper. And the fucked up graphics. Your old man said he was leaving you something important, right? Yep, that's what he said, alright. Then you struck in rich. You had made a millionaire overnight. Yep. Yeah. No, nope. something important he was referring to was his warrior spirit and nothing else. I'm gonna leave this gold for the taking. You know, anybody can fucking take it. You, for example. There's an end here with this digging. Gotta share this with others. That's the big mission I've been assigned for the reminder of my years. Like, one of them. 
I'm about to die. The precious ore is just a farewell gift for, to help fulfill that goal. It doesn't even fucking look like gold, it looks like fucking copper. Or even worse. How are you supposed to go about doing that? Write a book or some shit? I guess I could start by talking to a few of the homeless fellas in the vicinity. Gotta start somewhere. Yeah, and then they will fucking change up the story, and you'll just fucking fumble the back, man. Tell this to media or some shit. That's a bit too low-key. I think about it the same as this hole here. I only got this far because I made that first swing with my pickaxe. That's my style. One small step at a time. I get you. You've done enough to prove yourself in that area. Why do I only hang out with homeless people in this fucking game, man? Kinda sucks. <laughs> sucks to be me. Plus, we're gonna have to dig up this treasure of my father's anyway. Uh, think about it for a second, old man. What rich idiots dig up his own treasure? You got more money than you'll ever need. Why not just hire some people who use machines to dig? <laughs> got a point there, Saijima. Thanks for all your help. Keep the sword. If it wasn't for you, I would be able to make it this far. At least I can present you with my father's sword as a token of my gratitude. You know damn well I can't accept that. That's all you got to remember your old man by. I'll break it, like, in five swings. Saichima, you're an honorable man and a damn fine warrior. I think my father's spirit was meant to help you in your quest. My father had a I don't give a shit. I got stuck with a storm. Like, the best melee weapon in the game, I think. So what's next for you, old man? The books and fighting techniques we uncovered had to be my father's. I'm sure there are more, so I'll keep on digging for now. Okay, I'll come by and help whenever I get the time. Thanks, ain't nothing to lose from a good workout. Oh, nice. Wait, what power of all heat actions increased? What did you find that you just given to me? So you just found what power? What can I help out with? Oh, I can only help out with this bullshit. I'm not doing this anymore. This sucks. See you never again, old man. Let's check it out. I did get Sakura Spirit. Thirty-five fucking uses. Not bad. Uh, revelations. If you're here for more leads and revelations, then I have to apologize because I'm flat out at the moment. These funny poems I wrote. Goodbye Christmas, goodbye New Year's, hello hangover. How about that? Pretty clever, right? Complain, time to hear more. Fuck you two, man. I'm trying to fucking get something useful, end up spending a whole episode just for some fucking shitty ass sword. And a fucking haiku that sucks ass. Man, fuck this shit. That was some of the worst fucking bullshit I could have done. At least I wrapped up the bullshit story. What other sub stories we got going on? I have one more. Oh, yeah, we do have the bodyguard thing. And other than that, I don't really have anything else going on, even though I'm pretty sure that old man told me about a murder once, but... I never found a revelation that related to a murderer, and now he claims that he doesn't have any more of them. Son of a bitch, how do I get to the fucking parking lot? Man, why does Saijima have to deal with this bullshit? Like, Akiyama wasn't a wanted man, so he could just run around freely whenever the fuck he wanted. The Saijima has to deal with this garbage. Oh, there's a quest here. What's up? Man, I look fucking really out of place. Excuse me, are you... I'm not a man who just blends in. I fucking stand out like a sore thumb. Are you Saijima, son? Who the fuck are you, dweeb? A friend. I'm a man in black. I'm a respectable businessman. I assure you, I've been looking for you. Yeah, I, I'm sure you're looking for me. How'd you hear about me anyhow? 
better watch out, my fists are already clenched. I'm about to fuck you up. Relax. I just happen to have some homeless men in my circle of acquaintances. I asked one of them if he knew anybody who could help me out, and your name came up. Alright then, so what do you want? Actually, there's a little um, job I'd like you to do. A pain job? No? Can you spare a moment to hear more about it? Fuck you. I don't come cheap, you know? Actually, I do most of my side quests I do for nothing. I understand, but I'm happy to hear you're interested. I'm Takeda, the apprentice of Scorpion, a manager at Oyamada Tan Production. Let's head out to our office and discuss the particulars. Talent production? What do you want me to be a fucking scout? Okay, what the fuck? Am I meant are, are we shooting a porno here? What the fuck's going on? Sajima, you see? Good to see you, ma'am. I'm Oyamada, present of Oyamada Talent Production. So what's the job entail, Oyamada son? I'd like you to fuck my daughter, I mean, be security guard for my daughter, Makiko. She might not be the prettiest, or the smartest, or the nicest. Now she's making more media appearances. She's starting to get mobbed by rape fans, rabbit fans. Why not just tell the cops, ain't that their job? Discretion is crucial this early in Makiko's career. Surrounding herself with police could cause a scandal. But what the fuck, man? She was singing about fuck the police and now she's surrounded by police? That's fucked up. Show business is all about survival of the fittest. Just, we just want to avoid any unnecessary trouble. Why did you put your daughter into this business? She doesn't even seem like she wants to be here. Okay, fine. So you don't want the fuzz involved? Then why not keep an eye on your own kid? Um, I don't care. Well, you see, with Makiko-chan... God, it's because I refused to let President Useless be responsible for my safety. She couldn't raise her own child alone and protect her from top talent. Fuck, bitch. Makiko-chan, is there any way to talk to you about your mother? Talk about your mother. Talk to you about your mother. Hey, I call the President. That's what matters, right? Because... In case you forgot, I didn't exist to this woman until I started making TV appearances. She is kind of cute, though. You only just became a regular talk show guest. Take time at that if anything were to happen to you now. I don't want any part of this stupid industry. You're the one who wanted me to, wanted to be on TV, not me. Quit making me live your dream. Oh... Uh... I, I have a deja vu. Wasn't that a fucking story before in Ayakusa game? Um, ignore that. I'm terribly sorry, but you see how it is? This is why we'd like you to handle her security detail. You look like you can handle a bitch. If you say so. Nice rhinoceros uh, picture. Can I take it? What matters here is that Makiko Chan is being stalked. By a tall man with long hair and a green trench coat. Wait a minute. So you will be her bodyguard? Yeah, she is cute, right? <laughs> And like Saijima said before, he's a sucker for a long pair of legs. Sure, why not I accept, but in return, well, I come with a hell of a price tag. We'll be sure to pay you handsomely, just please. Don't fuck my daughter. Kiko Channel will be heading home for today. Would you please escort her to her bed? At the taxi stand? No problem. Alright, fucking bitch, looking forward to working with you. And all that shit. F fuck you. Lovely atmosphere. It's a lovely work environment we got. Alright, now, what's the taxi stand from here? Park Boulevard East, by the entrance to West Park. Where's that again? Been out of town a while. Gotta get my bearings again. Well, let's hustle. Don't boss me around, dickhead. You're my bodyguard would little professionalism literally kill you. It would. I'm allergic. Honestly, where's the present used to find this weirdo? What are you waiting for? Come on, what's parking for? Hang on, I need to use the ladies' room. And hold it. The stock is after you, remember? Sorry, I can't hold it. Wait here, I'll be right back. Damn it. Man, this kid's a real pain in the fucking ass. And the all asshole. 
I think she died. What is he saying? She fell in? She check on her? Just gonna like open the door. Hi, Jim, sir. Where the fuck is my daughter? She's on the can. I'm just waiting for her to wipe up her ass. The bathroom at the office, but she didn't came back in. Yes, she got away. Whoops. What can you do? Kids these days, am I right? Oh no, some troll just posted on her fan site, threatening to attack her, you don't think? <laughs> Trolls don't exist. That's a fantasy creature, chill out. I'll find her, you can go tell your boss. On it. I can uh, predict the future. Saijima will give her some kind of a speech about respecting one's parents. And then she will cry and apologize to her mother. And be like, oh no, I've been such a bitch. Well, fuck me, better check around here first. Sajima is not relatable. I, j I like that he swears so much. It's just kind of funny. Where are they supposed to bring her? West Park, that's that's it. Akiko, you fucking bitch. She went to the rooftop. I think she might have. Hold on, what is the sub story description? Wait, what? There are two quests now. Oh, I should ask around if anybody saw her instead of fucking running up the fucking rooftops like a moron. Maybe I'll just, like, I don't know. Chinese guys ain't gonna help. Maybe this guy will help. What's with this maniac chasing that girl around just when you think the city's dangerous enough as it is? I wonder if she's okay. Broadcast college student. Maybe I should have called the police. Hey, that girl you saw being chased, she was wearing a black jacket? Uh, yeah, I think so. That'd be Makiko. You see her? She went? She was running along this road towards Shichifuku Street. Should I notify the police? There's a fucking police officer right there, but he seems to not give a fuck too much. I don't bother calling the cops. They don't give a shit. I'll take care of this. She was headed towards West Park. Yeah, thanks, kid. Wait, so what, I'm doing two fucking quests at once now? I can go that way, because there's a fucking police officer in the way. And he will fucking vaporize me with his sight as soon as I get close. Alright, we're going to West Park. I'd like to finish the episode, maybe, but... Fuck it. Oh, I found her. Uh, assholes. Relax, we'll take real good care of sexy wi- What? Whittle? Makiko? And why wouldn't we? We're her biggest fans. And by Brooklyn, you know what I mean. Hit me all you want, but don't touch my daughter. Huh? Oh, they hit her? That's fucked up. Shut up. Unless you want more, bitch. You don't want. You don't want to talk. You made me bank. You made Mad Bank show off that fine ass of hers. She dresses up all sexy when she's on stage. Why not now? Come on, baby. Show her those tits. Stop, Makiko is. She's all I've got left. Ah, oh, fuck off. Shut it, you dusty hag. <laughs> Climb up and enjoy the show. You know, I don't really have a good um, perception of what Japan looks like after playing all these Akaza games. They seem to seem to be a country full of thugs, perverts, and fucking insane people. And for a private set with the famous Makiko-chan, we've got all access passes. All access passes. That's my job. There you are. Who the fuck? Last you could do, least you could do is be a good client and not run off. I ain't getting paid enough to follow you into the can. I just stand there. You're my bodyguard, aren't you? Fuck him up. That ain't done nothing to you, so I got no reason to do anything to them. I kinda wanna watch. Are you blind? They hurt her, she could die. Well, others are to protect you, not what you call her present useless, and I ain't much for charity work. Inside Jima, you're fucking cold, dude. I like you. Streets are cold, dog. Orders, are you blind and deaf? They're about to. 
Enough. Fucking what? You want somebody's help? Look him in the eye and ask nice. Help us. Don't hear the magic words. Please. What was that? Free. What? Please, please. Save her. Please save my mom. There, was that so hard? God, nothing chaps my ass. <laughs> what? Nothing chaps my ass more than a precious breath. I figure so. What the fuck were we even watching just now? Look, there's like a guy up on the balcony in the background. He seems to be enjoying the show. Didn't you hear the little lady? This is where my. That's. This here's my job. So get in line for your all access ass whooping. Nice necklace. Well, we finally got like a closer glimpse at it. It's really just a fucking tribal necklace. Oh, sorry, Makiko. I accidentally beat the fuck out of you. I like a crowbar. Instead of beating him with the sharp edge, the crack is all open. <laughs> I love that one hit combo, it's the best. Get out now! Man, you're lucky, you're cute. Son of a bitch. I like this episode. Oh shit, it's been too long. Mommy, are you okay? I don't think there's any safe points around here. You're safe, oh thank goodness. Mahiko, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I put you through all this bullshit. Ever since you were a little girl, I've been pushing you. Off balconies. Through lessons, onto the stage, and now into danger. I never gave you time to be a child. It was my dream to make it big in showbiz, not yours. I guess I was trying to live vicariously through you. Forgive me. Ah, uh, fuck, fuck it. It's okay, I love you. Mommy, you haven't called me that since grade school. Really, huh? Guess you actually feel like one again. Present useless. Thank you for the bottom of my heart, Sage, my son. No sweat, all in a day's work. I don't mean to pry, but do you have any children of your own? Uh, I have a little boy I kidnapped. If that counts. Nope, never even got hitched, why? I was just thinking what a fine father you'd be. Listen, I don't like you that much. I'll have to remember how you handled my daughter earlier. You were more parental than I've been since ever. Um, mommy, fine by me. Take what you can from it, but that's a waste, and you got yourself a taxi to catch. Sajima seems excited about fucking a MILF. I mean, who wouldn't be? Wait, did I just finish two quests at once? I can't thank you enough. Why was it two different quests if they were disconnected so much? It's your pay. I thought it could never be enough. Please take it. Got a diamond. <laughs> what, you pay people with diamonds? Mommy, I actually think I'd like to try this show this thing for a while. It's not all sunshine and cupcakes, but it's my job. It's not all bad, fanboys aside. Makiko. Good on you. Break a leg. And an arm. Maybe your neck, too. Alright, I'll be sure to buy your records when it comes out, or whatever the fuck you do. Why my record? Oh, you're too much. Uh, what did I say? Nothing, nothing. Be sure to buy my record, okay? Bye. Again, XP. Well, that's nice. Can I get a cab look closer to Millennium Tower? Or at least closer to a fucking safe point? Oh, this one's like right next to a safe one. So, did I finish two quests? No, this one's still... Oh, that's fucking right. This was completely unrelated to this one. I went to go and do this quest, but then I got interrupted and started doing this one. I don't know why I thought they were the... I thought it was like... The same quest. Never mind, I'm stupid. 
I have not done the bodyguard quest yet. But I guess I'll do it next episode. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.